Hi, I'm Roger Salek. We all know the story of the tortoise and the hare, that classic fable that pits a very fast and flashy but ultimately undisciplined rabbit against his slower, plodding, methodical, and physically unredeeming opponent, the tortoise. But the tortoise, while it has none of the physical advantages of the hare, and all the odds are against it, has one ultimately redeeming quality. It doesn't know how to quit. It's slow, it's plodding, it's homely, but it just keeps putting one stubby foot after the other. And ultimately, faced with a less disciplined opponent that goes to sleep and talks to the other animals and goofs around, the tortoise ultimately wins. Boy, give me the tortoise. After 45 years in martial arts and training thousands of people, I've seen both variants of these, their human equivalents, uh, and it's most interesting. Once in a while you'll find a person that comes into you that is like the rabbit, like the hare, uh, just an absolutely naturally gifted athlete. They have all the mechanical things working for them right out of the box. They're flexible and coordinated and balanced and quick and they're beautiful to watch. They're like unicorns. They're so rare. I mean they just do stuff that other people can't do with, with a great deal of training. They, they just have it right there. But an awful lot of them, while beautiful to look at, they're like meteors streaking across the night sky. They're there and they're gone. They don't often last. And that's a sad thing. When you get one that lasts, when you get to one of these rare, you know, the rabbits or the unicorns that combines with those natural gifts, the tenacious abilities of the tortoise, there you have almost a mythical creature. And they are wonderful to watch. Just stand back and let them go because uh, they you know, they outshine everything in the room. But most of them aren't like that. And then you have, on the other hand, the tortoises. And I have seen some of these people come in the door. You wonder how they made it down to the place under their own power. But like the tortoise, they don't know how to quit. They're just down all the time. And so if you were to ask me what is the paramount attribute that a person has to possess to succeed in martial arts, oh, it's very simple, I can tell you. You just have to not be able to quit. And an amazing thing happens at the end of the game, because it doesn't matter how good you are at the beginning of the race, it matters how good you are at the end of the race. And with the tortoises, very often they metamorphose into other creatures that are just about unrecognizable. They can become consummate athletes, truly gifted martial artists, just you don't even, you can't believe it's the same person. And that's one of the magical things about martial arts is that miraculous capacity for self-transformation. But it doesn't come easy and it doesn't necessarily come quickly. Um, but it is really interesting to behold. And sometimes you'll get somebody who's so good at something that you just can't believe that they were ever a tortoise. Michael Jordan is probably a, a great case in point. You look at this person, freakish talents, unnatural gifts underneath the basket and so forth. You go, how could this guy have been a tortoise? But he is, Michael Bo Jordan's abilities were not just born. They were created through hard work and unrelenting, unremitting practice. And, you know, persistence in the face of failure. Michael Jordan would be the first to tell you he missed over 9,000 shots in his career. You know, he lost almost 300 games. 26 times he was entrusted to take the game-winning point and blew it. He says, but I failed again and again and again. And that's why he succeeded. And so I think that's a message to any aspiring martial artist. You can do this. You can do it. But you have to be willing to put in the time. Be the tortoise. Boy, I love the tortoises. I want to live in the turtle farm because those are the people that I think are truly inspiring and they're fun to be around. They're not a pain in the butt. Their egos are subdued. They just are real workers. And if you're in, in life, as in martial arts or in business, those are the people you want to hire. I get a chance to talk to a fair number of employee, employers, whether they're mom and pop operations with a few employees or people that are in charge of thousands. And what they really, they continually echo the same sentiment. They just want people that are going to show up and do their job and be disciplined in their approach to work. And the rest all takes care of itself. If you do that, everybody will love you. It's a wonderful thing. So 
My advice is be a tortoise. Thanks much. I'm Roger Salek.